Okay, I wasn't sure if I hit the button, but uh, I wasn't sure if I hit it properly. But welcome back, citizens of YouTube, to The Last of Us Part Two. Things are getting uh, things are getting a little bit heated, a little bit scary. Um, Joel's being tortured. Tommy's just being held captive. And uh, someone is, I have a bad feeling someone's gonna die pretty soon. And I don't like that feeling. Please be okay. Because I like Joel quite a bit, but. Um. Joel! It seems like. Tommy! I'm getting a bit worried. Getting worried for my guy. What, what can I say? Um. I feel like there was some promotional material, some like trailer stuff that would make me think that he's still alive after this. But I think it might have just been a red herring. Like, companies, when they have a like a story they really want to keep under wraps, that's just snow. It looked shiny. Companies will lie about stuff. Like you know, Rogue One had a totally fake trailer. Endgame had fake stuff in it. Joel. And you know, sometimes Hi. it's for good purposes. For this one, it probably is just to keep the fate of people under wraps. <clears throat> under wraps. But what I'm saying is that if that trailer stuff is true, then I would think Joel would be okay after this, but we'll we'll have to see. Oh fuck. Nice and slow. I don't even want to like search for supplies. I just really want to know like what the fuck is going to happen. How fucking big is this house? It's a big ass cabin. Fuck. Okay, it's got to be right here, right? Posted up outside. We didn't think anyone was gonna show up. The hell did you expect? We gotta get out of here, or the whole town's on top of us. You're done. You want what I want, right? End it now. Joel, get up. Joel, fucking get up. Please stop! Please don't shoot! Joel, please get up! <laughs> no! 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 No!
I don't even know what to say. Just kind of... Could I sit down, please? Yeah. Marie wants to make sure you're eating. She can't stop us. <clears throat> they have the guys that we would need to do this smart. We'd be leaving Jackson vulnerable. So they just get to get away with this? Nobody wants that. Yeah, but that's what's happening. What if we get hit by hunters again? Is this you talking or is this her? It's a valid point. If it were you or me, Joel would be halfway to Seattle already. No, he wouldn't. He absolutely fucking would be. Well, we don't even know for certain that they're from Seattle. Washington Liberation Front. That's what you said was on those patches. What if they stole those jackets? That's... What the WLF move? What are you doing? You know what? I'm leaving tomorrow. And if you want to come with me, great. You have no idea what you're walking into. You don't know how large that group is. How armed? I don't care. You can't talk me out of this. Give me a day to talk to Maria, okay? There's got to be some folks you can spare. And if she won't budge? <laughs> well, I'll figure something out. One day. Please. stop at his house before we leave. We just have to pick something up. Okay. I could 
couldn't get to the horses. Looks like Tommy took one. Now Maria's got the stables locked down. <sighs> Fucking Tommy. We'll figure something else out on the way. A car or a horse or something. Okay. This makes getting to Seattle a lot harder. Then it's gonna be harder. You can still change your mind, you know? I know. Just don't want you to feel like you have to. Ellie. You go. I go. End of story. I'm guessing we're getting the uh, photo of him and uh, Sarah. Get your backpack. I hit it by the east gates. I figured we'd want to slip out that way. <sighs> I was kind of just hoping for one more adventure, you know? One more grand adventure, one for the history books. Joel and Ellie, but it's only going to be half that. Fuck. Hey. The shaking was in the trailers. I guess they were being what truthful you know? about I, that. I can go get it. Yeah, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna not talk much the next, like, I don't know, maybe three fucking days, however long it takes for me to digest this. It's a really nice and, like, simple, uh, brown wood house. Oh, some nice marble here. A fucking big mug. Or I guess Ellie just has small hands, that could be true. Um oh. I wonder if Sony's gonna sell that mug on their store, because they uh seems like they like mugs. I had a talk uh, talk with my friend earlier today, and we were like, yeah. He he was like, yeah, they sell a lot of mugs, but they're mostly shit. He sent me a few and I'm like, yeah, they're kind of shit. I'm pretty sure Ellie's grabbing that photo of Sarah and uh, and Joel, but I don't know what happened to uh, Joel's watch that Sarah gave him. There's his guitar. Lighting makes it look kind of weird, like it's not fully loaded or or something. I guess he likes sculpting. That makes sense. Very naturey guy. <clears throat> There's my voice cracking. Very naturey guy. Likes nature. What if they have running what? Uh, so it's a bath. There's no shower faucet. Okay. Well.
I think that green one is the one that he he, he started the game with, or... No, it doesn't have, like, the, the flannel, like, you know, squares. Whatever you call it. Now there's the shower. That's cool and all. God fucking fuck me. I think if you skipped the audio option, or the dialogue option, you could have actually not given Joel the photo in the first game, but... Is that not what she's taking? It's not that? Okay, what is she taking? Yeah, it's the watch. I would have thought it was like on his body when he died. And I, I'm guessing it was, but like I thought Ellie would have gotten that already cuz I mean, they've already buried him. Getting his gun too. Good old classic revolver. Mod, uh, 924. Ellie, can you come down here? Everything okay? Yeah, it's just, just come on down. Yeah, everything sounds just fucking fine. Maria, I'm headed to Seattle. I wish I could let it go, but I can't. I have to bring these people to justice. Ellie's gonna try to come after me, but stop her. Take her guns, lock up the horses, maybe lock her up. Buy me some time so I can end this. Love you always, Tommy. He's gonna get himself killed. He should have taken me with him. You should have given us a group to go after those fuckers. I wish I could. You gotta try to lock me up? I'd prefer that you stay. That's not gonna fucking happen. I'd prefer that you stay, but I know you better. You going with her? Yeah. So you're just gonna sneak out of here? Hmm? Yeah. On foot? I told the stable to let you out with your horse. Grab some ammo too. Thank you, Maria. Just uh, do me a favor and bring my dumbass husband home in one piece, please. Get going, you're, you're losing weight.
This hunter was on top of him, drowning him, and Joel couldn't get to his gun. Jeez. Were you scared? Well, I, I didn't even think. I just, I just ran in there, grabbed his gun, and shot the guy in the face. How old were you? Fourteen. How old were you when you first killed someone? We talking infected? No. Fully conscious, non-fungal person. Ten? Wow. What happened? The guy was coming at my mom. I stabbed him. Shit. You got me beat. Yeah, I'm a real badass. So how lost are we? Uh, we're not. Uh-huh. Hey, have a little faith. What about those crazy cannibals you said you and Joel ran into? They came after you guys once. Maybe these WLFs are connected to them. No. It didn't seem like the same group. Maybe those black market smugglers back in Boston? Do you not? Joel crossed a lot of people. I don't see the point in guessing. Okay. At least until we find out more information. I mean, it's probably what's left of the fireflies. Ellie, cars. Yeah, we're getting close. Start keeping an eye out. Got it. They made a big deal about the surgeon at the beginning. Maybe it's like... <laughs> Maybe it's like his daughter who killed Joel. I was really hoping. Guess I was wrong. Turns out you do know where you're going. Sadly, I'm not too surprised that. Wait, which which way do I go? It's got a lot of space to go either way. Unfortunately, I'm not too surprised how things turned out. But still, hoping against hope, I really just wanted, you know, another grand adventure with Joel and Ellie. Because the first one is just... The first one is the stuff of legend, you know? I was hoping for one more, even if it wasn't... Yeah. When it comes to a property and an experience like this... There's always, like, the first experience that's gonna have, like, a shock. A, a shock to your system, for lack of a better word. Like, um... A lot of people say Empire Strikes Back is better than the first Star Wars. Anything good in there? And pretty picked over. To an extent, I agree, but just there's there's something special about seeing the first Star Wars movie. Can we go down here? Yes, we can. Okay. There's something special about feeling the Star Wars movie. You're gonna feel feelings. Like, shock, surprise. You're gonna get the tone of the first one. Because it's like, grand, spanking right. new, and fresh. Yeah. Think about how well we hide our lookouts. I know. That's what scares me. The second one, it can be better, arguably. But there's just something about the first time around that's... always gonna be a bit special. That sets your expectations in a particular way that even even better pieces of art can't quite can't quite live up to. Whoa, is that the QZ? Yep. Watch the high spots. So, is Ellie wearing the watch? Probably, I just can't Looks see like it. Some cracks up there in the wall up above. Do you see it? Yeah. Not sure how we get up there though. Just scouting for supplies though. So I'm kind of confused whether or not Tommy came with us. It seems like he might have taken a separate group to go to Seattle. 
I don't know. I'm kind of confused on that. Cordyceps taken over the victim's motor functions, fast and agile, stage 1, infected, normally travel in packs, not let them swarm you. Infected, stage 2, uses environment to hide and will ambush victims, will frequently flank and attack from behind, approach with caution and check your surroundings. Stage 3, totally blind, acute hearing, uses echolocation to seek out prey, aka clickers. They're known for their ferocious attacks and they are extremely lethal. Uses environment to hide an ambush. I haven't seen an enemy like that before. As far as I can remember. Rare but dangerous evolution of stage 3. Incredibly strong and capable of throwing acid projectiles. Yeah, that's a bloater. Do not engage unless absolutely necessary. So... Maybe stage 2 is just like... Maybe we're going to see that for the first time? Yeah, that kind of seems like, uh, that kind of seems like the, that kind of seems like the type that would have spores coming out of him. There's gotta be something back These here. Cages? Holding cells. Soldiers had them in Boston too. But yeah, cages. <laughs> oh, those gears. Seven, yay. Hey, yeah, didn't I- didn't I already search this? Yes, I definitely did. Okay, I don't think I've been inside this one yet. Or I did and just didn't get the roof. Nope, haven't been here yet. Alright, what's this one about? Seattle, huh. Anything good in there? Found an old tourist map. Well, that's something. So, I mean, I would guess that the people who killed Joel were former Fireflies, but if that's the case, I mean, wouldn't they know about Ellie? And they probably would have realized, hey, that's the girl who's immune. Like, they they probably would know that. So maybe it's not the fireflies? I don't know. I can't right now. I can't think. All I can do is feel. Pain, that is. Alright, definitely supposed to go to that ladder. So, oh, I jump on top of that one. I thought it was this one. Like, I could have sworn I was, like, right here. I was, like, right here when Dina said, Hey, go to that one. But I, I guess it's this one. I'm wrong. Guess I was, like, right here or something. I don't know. What the fuck? Was I almost hurt there? Like... Why the UI pop up? See way in. Ellie, what about the roof up there? Yeah. Up here. Please don't collapse. You got something? Dina, hey, help me up here. Keep an eye out. Just see if you can get the gate open from the other side. Sounds good. Huh. 
I feel like at some point, Tommy has to tell Joel what happened at the hospital. And Ellie's probably gonna be pissed, and Joel never got the chance to, uh, explain. Oh, balance? A little late for that, I didn't even realize. Oh, uh, yeah. This isn't dangerous or stupid at all. Yeah, she doesn't even care. And <laughs> sorry, neither do I. Zelda. Oh my goodness. So, um the promotional footage I was talking about that made it seem like Joel was alive was um, the reveal trailer, which reveal trailers like almost always lies because at normally when a developer reveals a game, they don't even know like completely what it's going to be at that point. So I'm not surprised that it was totally different. Reveal trailers are just always different from like the final thing, but. Uh, Anyway, in the reveal trailer, you know, you've probably seen it, but she was playing a guitar, she was bleeding, she was singing that song that we heard, uh, on the Walkman or whatever the fuck she was listening to. Um, can I get in here? Do I have to, like, throw a brick? Nope, brick. I don't have a brick on me right now. Is there, is there a brick in here? But anyway, she was playing the- she was singing that song. Playing the guitar, and Joel walks in. And he's like, What are you doing, kiddo? Do you really want to go through with this? And uh, the other one, which was really recently, it was a state of play back in like October. Um, it was at the end of the trailer where Joel just like pulls Ellie um, back from a from, like, a caravan of enemies. I guess she was about to be spotted. She wasn't that close, but... She's about to be spotted. What's okay. going on here? I wonder when this was written. Alright, it's a bunch of numbers. Okay. I guess codes? The Saravena base. That's something... Yeah, the second one, um, Ellie was on her merry way, and she was kind of surprised to see Joel there. And she was like, the hell are you doing here? And he was like, he looks really old in this one. He had, like, really fucking gray hair. His face looked different than in this game a little bit. And he was like, you think I'd let you do this on your own? And that's kind of... That's kind of the game I was hoping to see. I was kind of hoping Dana would be the one to die near the beginning, and then Joel and Ellie would have another miraculous, another spectacular adventure, and it would have been amazing. Um, but unfortunately, that is not how it went down, obviously.
I feel like there's space under here for me to do this. No? No, like, collectibles, comics. Clickers waiting to eat me, nothing, okay. But yeah, it was like... I think he had a, a grand total of two lines in the... In the trailers and shit. Um... Oh, I almost missed that. Okay. Oh yeah, the box. I'm so stupid. I'm, I'm distracted. I'm sad. I'm trying to think back to like 2016 trailers and shit. What can I say? Okay? What was that sound? I got that gate open. Gotta figure out this one now. Well, we believe in you. Thanks. Yeah, I'm sure the horse really believes in me. Anyway, um, I think he actually may have had some more lines in like a recent reveal trailer. I feel like I saw clips of it as YouTube ads, but I don't think I ever watched that trailer myself. At that point, I kind of just wanted to go in a little more blind, be surprised by what happened. But it turns out I could have just watched it anyway, because it was all lies. And I kind of, I don't blame them for trying to keep it covered. Not completely anyway. I have a bottle, right? Rip glass. I don't, I don't remember if they showed that feature in the trailers or not. Not that it's the most original shit ever. Breaking glass. But, you know. Oh, got another switch here. I can barely see that. They're both white. Juice. So yeah, I think he had some more lines recently, but I I haven't um, watched those those recent trailers. How's it going? Not great, thank you. Maybe I have to, like, drop the cable down from here or something, I don't know. But yeah, that's... Joel and Ellie's Great Adventure number two is no more, I'm afraid. Man, we'll just have to do with uh, Ellie and Dina. Hopefully it's a good one. Where the fuck is this next cord? Can I can I use the other one? Can I just like move it around now? Maybe. Oh. No, it needs more slack. Well, can I drop it? Sweet. I don't know if this gate opens or not. But if I could just like throw it over, that'd be that'd be great. Wait, there's a yeah, there's a throwing mechanic. That's gonna take some getting used to, cause uh, I'm just used to that from Uncharted, not so much Last of Us. I almost forgot that they took the oh landed in the mud. That's that's really safe. It's gonna shock me to fucking death. Anyway. Yeah, I forgot that they took the uh, object observation ex directly from Uncharted 4. Okay. I kind of forgot about that, if I'm being honest. Okay, what box do I have to press? I guess I just have to go back to the other one. I don't know. Oh, not this one. Huh. 
It's gotta be a switch. Oh yeah, this panel. I forgot about that. Totally forgot. Oh, fucking really passcodes. Really gotta get used to this new UI. With main gate, five twelve. I can do that. Zero five twelve. That is. Uh. Zero five twelve. Yes. Not really the most fun puzzle they could have come up with, but whatever. Don't kill the horse. Hey, come on. Let's get out of here. That crash was pretty loud. Now what? I found a note back there. It had some codes on it. Says there's a WLF safe house at some place called Saravina Base. Saravina. So we find it? Hopefully we find our first WLF. Get them to talk. Go from there. Let's do it. Oh shit, look. Saravina Hotel. Well, that's gotta be it. <clears throat> okay. Let's find a way past this, uh... Fuck Fedra gate? Very creative. Gets right to the point. Let's get closer and scope it out. Okay, here we go. Did I miss? Or is it just out of gas? Yeah, it's out of gas. It's out of gas. Yep, gas. Yes. Well, what do we do now? Oh, hmm? shit. The note. What? The note mentioned that there's gas in the courthouse garage and the dome. All right. Courthouse garage and the dome. So what's the plan? Can I go back to that? Places? We ride around and see what we see. You think Tommy came through here? But he did. Yeah, it seems like they just basically turn into like these quarantine zones just went from like taking a bunch of a bunch of people to just being like, yeah, we're just gonna keep the soldiers in here. Fuck off. It's turning everyone against you. Can we go back to the other generator and just take some gas from there? Like... Seems like the smart thing to do. It wasn't that far away, right? Can I whistle for my horse? Like, Witcher 3? Did I do that? I feel like there's probably something up there. I just, I just have my spider sense tingling. Like, why would it be here if it wasn't? Right? Like, why would this path be here if there's nothing? Okay, whatever, that's fine. Just waste my time, it's all good. I guess sure. we're in Seattle. We're here. Ah, uh, nice. We'll mark it up as we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get lost like a lot. I'll be honest with you. What's on the other side? Oh, it's just like amusement stuff.
What the hell happened out here? I'm guessing the military bombed the shit out of this place. Why would they do that? Well, they would sometimes destroy parts of the city that were lost to the infected. Or to rebels. That seems like a good thing. Well, it usually worked. On the infected or the rebels? Both. Shit. Believe me. You're lucky you didn't grow up in a QZ. I'm starting to get that impression. <laughs> All right, we're a little past 47, I mean 40, well yeah, 47 minutes, but we're also past 45, which is where I'm trying to keep these videos, so that's going to be it for now. I'm still sad, but we're going to keep pushing on and uh, take care.